Just really bad execution. You know, I think I, we started to get nervous. We were choking. You know, we just we didn't execute at a high level. And it's one thing to get up shots and miss shots, and and then they come down and score. It's another to turn it over, and they go down and score and miss free throws and things of that nature. Just. It was a bad winning time segment. Conversely, the second winning time segment of overtime was really good. So we got stops and we made buckets and we made free throws when we needed to. So, um, so that was a, the best of both worlds, I guess. Or not the best, but the com conflicting worlds there with the way that we finished winning times in regulation compared to overtime. What was your message to the team a few minutes ago? Just, you know, it's this conference, you know. You, you got to get out of here with wins. It doesn't... You know, obviously, there's always blemishes. Uh, every game, wins and losses, there's blemishes, there's things to work on. There's a lot of consistency things, you know, that we didn't do well. Um, you know, you can't have seven turnovers the last game and have 21 this game. And then you can't have the bad rebound we had this game, or last game, and then out-rebound this game. you got to start putting, you know, stack columns together a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's a young team with a lot of different faces, man. And even though we've been together for – a half a season now. I think we're, what, it's our 15th game, so we're officially like almost halfway through the season. And there's they're still got room for growth, obviously. So I, uh, everybody wants to to sometimes move the needle faster than it's, it's uh, you know, physically able to move. And, and uh, we'll keep pushing it, but we got to get guys healthy. got to get the whole crew back on the floor and, and uh, you know, be at our maximum when we go out, on, especially on the road. When you guys were down by one in the, the final possession of regulation, did you want Brandon in the game for that possession, or what happened there? With he the said he – I don't know whether he checked in or not. But yeah, I had said – I told him to check in, and I guess he didn't go over far enough or he didn't wave or they didn't get, he didn't get their attention or whatever. Yeah, he was supposed to be in for the final possession of regulation, but didn't happen. We get to overtime. We win in overtime. Life is good. <laughs> what did you think of the minutes you got from Mbaki? Really good minutes. I thought he was uh, really, really good for us defensively. Uh, he was very nervous to shoot his free throw shots. It was actually almost entertaining to watch his nerves. You know, this freshman from Africa who's, who's just like the game is on his shoulders and he, he's grabbing his head and walking to half court. And I'm like, dude, it's not life or death. You'll be okay. Just step to the line and, and do what you normally do. So, um, yeah, but I thought everything else he did was, was with a lot of energy, and he played with a lot of passion tonight, which is we needed a spark, and he gave, gave it to us. And Nunu, too. I think Nunu was probably four for six, four for seven from the field, so he gave some uh, little offensive bursts as well. You had him back quite a bit in overtime, too, right? Yeah, we were going offense, defense, and uh, we were on defense more than we were on offense, so uh, that's just how it worked out in the minutes because Brandon had four fouls, I think, towards down the stretch. Joe Bond hit a big three in overtime, but it only took two shots uh, for the game. Is that uh, – he said it was – he was taking what the defense gave him. Do you think that's a reaction to something that you – know, his bad shooting game that, that he had against Boise? No, or what do you think that is? I, I think we were trying to get the ball inside. I think he was being a little more patient, you know. Uh, and, but I think they also probably had a lot of open shots that were inside out that they kind of passed on. So it's, it's, you know, learning to respect this game and play this game the right way is a process, you know. And, and there are, even though there's, uh, even though JoJo's a senior, he's still being educated in the game, you know. And uh, at the end of the day, he hits a big three. That, that makes a difference for us. So, you know, you want to get out of town with a win, and we did that. Do you, do you want him to maybe – I mean, it's one game where he didn't get a lot of attempts, and they did play some really good defense on him. They covered out on him pretty hard and tried to take him. I think we could have bounced it a little bit more, but they were so collapsed in him. You know, they were very good at, at clogging up the paint, and, and uh, he's just trying to follow the script. You know, and as you follow the script, you learn, and so as he learns, he'll get better, and as he gets better, you know, we'll be better. So I, I don't, you know, I wouldn't ride. Too, or put too much on one game's performance in terms of shot attempts or anything like that. We had 21 turnovers, but we had seven last time, so what are you going to do? You know, you keep doing what you're doing to get them better. How close are you uh, to getting Anthony and uh, Chuck back? I'm hoping Saturday, but we'll, we'll find out. All right. On that final play of regulation, um, when you got that, that rebound, what happened on that play and how were you able to, to get that rebound? Uh, like, coach told us, like, to go to the glass, like, Five, uh, four, five, and three, like to go to the, to the class, and then we just. Uh
I was like on the right place on the, on the, at the right time and then I just, yeah, with the help of my teammates. What was going to your mind when you shot this free throws? Oh, I was a little nervous because that was a lot of pressure. But, you know, we didn't practice those uh, free throws and then teammate has helped me like to pick my head up and then just shot the free throws. That's you seemed more uh, active on both ends of the floor. You had a big block down there and everything else. Uh, uh, was today, you know, the coming out party, I guess? Uh, we just practicing, like, practicing, practicing, and then when the, come, when the, when the game comes, we just have to do, like, what we've been practicing uh, as a team and, and you know, on that play at the, the end of regulation, were you supposed to be in the game, or what happened with the substitution? Because um, it looked like Brandon was trying to um, check in, but they wouldn't let him check. Was there some kind of confusion there, or were you in, in the whole time on that play? Uh, I think I was in the game, but they have the ball, so I had to play defense. That's why I was like staying there. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks. Scott. Shot in overtime. Can you just talk about what you saw there and, and uh, what, what was going through your mind? I uh, just had an open look. And I knew we needed a bucket, and so you know I was just doing what I can to contribute to the win. You didn't, that was only your second shot of the game. Was that a conscious decision going into this game, or how did it work out that way? No, just playing basketball and taking what the defense gives me. For this team, uh, do you uh, even though it's a win, does this team walk away frustrated with uh, what happened out there tonight? No, we we've been saying it all week. You know, every conference game is a grind, and we know every team is going to come out. You know, jumped and pumped to play against us, and that's exactly what they did tonight. And they played a really tough game, so you know, it's just about getting a win. It's not about how much you beat a team by at this point. You just do whatever you can to get a win each night. After uh, Mbaki, he missed the first free throw and you guys are down by one. What were you you know, thinking as he stepped into the line for that, that second one? Uh, well, I was thinking he was going to make it, but if he missed, we foul and we go from there. But, I mean, it was pretty simple. I mean, so. was, it, was San Jose State doing anything in particular other teams haven't done against you defensively? Uh, no, it wasn't nothing particular. It's just, you know, um, I think pretty much the way I play is pretty much on me and just picking my spots, you know, and trusting the position that the coaches put me in on the floor. So it's nothing the defense has done to limit anything I can do.